am an aerospace engineer, and so in my field, working in the sciences with technology and engineering, it's so important for women in our fields to speak up in order to inspire the next generation of women to want to pursue challenging and fulfilling careers in these fields. A lot of the times, there isn't a lot of access to women like myself working in technology and emphasizing why we love what we do. Instead, because we live in this world of digital communication and with so much access to social media, young women uh, particularly have access to and, and visually see on a regular basis reality TV stars who unfortunately in my opinion do little to inspire and so I think it's important to get women like myself out in the public out in the media as a voice for what's possible in these careers and why it's important to put yourself in situations outside of your comfort zone. The benefits that I've experienced through having a public voice are that it's an opportunity to connect with a generation of women. It's so easy through social media or through the blog I run to connect with young women and, and show them the value in, in just getting involved with hands-on tasks and building and tinkering and just playing around and the benefits that can be had from putting yourself into a challenging situation. So many times in the last few years I received such positive feedback from people on my contact page telling me how important it is to be doing the work that I'm doing. Um, I got an e email from a father who was saying how inspired it was to go through my blog and then to sit down and do science experiments with his daughters. And I even got uh, tweets from the Olympic triathlete Simon Whitfield just thanking me for putting my voice out there and for the important work that myself and so many other women in uh, science, technology, and engineering are doing to inspire a generation. The way that I make myself more accessible to a broader audience is through social media outreach, whether it is on my blog or on a platform like Twitter. It's enabled me to connect with a generation and, and inspire them and open up a line of communication that's authentic and genuine and and it allows me to express why I think it's so important to speak about what I do. I think connecting with a broader audience also means that you have to use a language that is relatable for them and communicate in a way that is effortless and, and uses terms that they would understand on a, on a regular basis. So I often give the example where I say, so what I'm working on is a self-supporting 1G robotic manipulator that we're going to launch into space to replace orbital replacement units on orbit. Or I could say that I'm using a robotic arm that works exactly like a human arm, so it has a shoulder, it has an elbow, and it has a wrist, and we're going to launch that into orbit to help repair satellites that have broken down in orbit. So you can see right there that example of using language that's very technical and people likely wouldn't understand versus language that is relatable and understandable. And it makes people feel like they're part of what you're saying and it gives them a reason to invest in what you have to communicate. And so I think using, again, using language that's accessible is definitely one of the best ways in science and engineering fields to connect with a broader audience.